Live from a kitchen in Las Vegas, it's Keto Cooking. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Tom Garvey, the Keto Cook. Today we're going to make a, a delicious chicken dinner. You're going to love this one. Uh, it is a, a creamy lemon uh, chicken. We're going to have a little uh, red, red and orange pepper in it, a little bit of uh, jalapeno. Just give it a little bit of a kick to it. And also I'm going to be making some uh, broccoli with roasted red pepper and garlic in, in a, a lemon butter sauce also. So it's going to be a lemony type of type of dinner. Uh, very quick, very easy. Let's get cooking. All right, right here we have probably about six or seven thinly sliced pieces of chicken breast. Okay, uh, this is what we're going to be sauteing it up. Also, I have some mini bell peppers with a little jalapeno in it. Also, four cloves of garlic uh, and one lemon. I'm going to use all these ingredients right here uh, for the chicken. And also, I'm going to add some roasted red pepper in with some broccoli. Okay, this is going to be very quick, very easy. Uh, let's get rolling. Olive oil into the pan. Also going to be adding some butter. That's my uh, way I do things right there. Uh, I'm going to add some, uh, here's, here's my girl right there, Olive. <laughs> okay, I'm going to probably put about uh, two or three tablespoons of butter. A lot of butter in this because I'm not deep frying it. Okay, so as I'm going, I'll be adding a little bit more uh, butter to it. This is also going to get heavy cream added to it. All right, so I'm going to get this heated up. I'm going to put a little Tommy Spice on it, as you can see me sprinkle it in. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. All granulated, equal parts. Pan is nice and hot. In goes the chicken. Add a little Tommy spice to, onto the top. I already have it some in the pan to get to the bottom. And we're going to saute this up. This is not going to take long at all. About six minutes, you start flipping it. You see the edges of the chicken starting to turn a little white. It's time to turn them over. Now, I'm going to add a little bit more Tommy spice to this onto the other side. And now I'm going to start squeezing in the lemon because we're going to start building that flavor. That's the whole idea about this, this um, easy cooked chicken. Building the flavor, make it taste perfect. Saute pan number two. Now I have uh, olive oil, naturally butter in there also. I'm going to add some garlic to it. All right, a little Tommy spice to the bottom. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to get ready to saute up some broccoli with roasted red pepper and garlic. I'm going to squeeze a little lemon into this at, at the finish. It's going to give that nice little lemony taste. Uh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect keto food. Okay, in goes the roasted red pepper. And I did these a couple days ago. Uh, I'm getting ready to make another video with uh, roasted red pepper sauce. So I, I just stole a little bit from, <laughs> from that container. Now, move that around a little bit and I'm gonna get them all even before I drop the broccoli in. Get them cooked up a little. Now this roasted red pepper is already cooked. So I'm just trying to get the flavor infused with the garlic into the, into the oil and butter. And then the, the broccoli is going to soak up all that goodness. Uh, man, I tell you what, this you can't beat this one right here. This is this is uh, the way to go. This was my savior back in when I first started doing keto uh, with getting vegetables. Chicken is great protein. You add butter, heavy cream to it. Okay, it's all the all the all the keto buzzwords that you want to hear and you, and you want to put in your system. The whole idea is to get yourself full. Okay.
All right, check-in's coming along great. It's getting to the end here. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to add in uh, some of the peppers. And that is probably two small mini pep peppers there. Uh, also, uh, a small jalapeno. That's not hot. Right? If you eat it raw, it might have a little uh, tinge to it. But this is not really hot. And the more you cook it, uh, the heat comes out of it. There's no seeds there anyway. I'm going to add some garlic. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon in that. Okay, and then we are going to be taking the chicken from the pan and we're going to start building our sauce. Add a little bit of lemon to it. Now, of course, we're building. Chicken's out of the pan. Now, I don't know overcook this. It's still going to be a little, you're going to see a little red coming out of it, but I want to finish it in the sauce itself. It makes, keeps it nice and juicy and won't be dry. Now, into the pan, add a little bit of lemon juice. Now, I'm going to also add the butter. Heavy cream is going to go into this. This is all the keto right words you want to hear. <laughs> Butter, heavy cream. Uh, it's to fill you up. This is going to taste off the charts good. A little bit of lemon, just creamy lemon, uh, you know, with a little bit of peppers, garlic, very mild, but it's, you're going to know the lemon's there and it has a great taste to it. I'm going to let this cook a little bit. And then we're going to add in the, the chicken, squeeze a little bit more lemon into it. Here we go. Now you can see that the sauce right now is a little bit, it's kind of thin right now, but this is all going to thicken up the more the heavy cream cooks. I'm going to add a little bit more butter to it. And that's all you need. There's no, no other additives into it. And just building the flavors from the chicken. Boy, I tell you what. Now, getting back to the broccoli, uh, this baby's done too. I mean, just, you, you gotta keep it even in the pan. You try, try to keep it uh, so that every piece of broccoli and, and the peppers are touching the pan. Now, it's done. So let's take this and let's plate it right now. Now, there's three pieces of chicken. That would probably be the equivalent of a half a chicken breast. And that's enough to fill you up. add the nice creamy look how thick it is nice the aromas are like whoa unbelievable okay uh, and here it is I mean it doesn't get any better than this we'll plate this up I'll wipe the plate down and we're gonna give this a taste and uh, you know what it's, that's dinner right there Creamy lemon chicken with broccoli, roasted red pepper, and garlic with a lemon sauce. Keto, keto. Well, there you have it. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't get any, any faster than that. It's delicious. It's very filling. Uh, if you're having a, a struggle about, you know, uh, still fighting cravings and stuff like that, this type of meal right here will do for you because it'll it'll give get you to that point where you're full, okay? And on, on a keto lifestyle... The whole idea is to eat until you are full. You don't need maybe a little snack afterwards. So you have, I have a window between probably uh, four and six, like two hours. You can go up to four hours, but I have a two hour window that I, that I eat and whatever else I want, get the snacks and stuff out of the way. And then I'm, I'm good until the next day. So, well, there you have it. Listen, thank you very much for all the new subscribers. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, hit that like and subscribe button. I want to thank everybody. I really do appreciate it. And you know what? Let's stay safe out there and keto on, man. It's not that hard. Talk to you later.